I've never imagined one day that I would have the opportunity to become a pro gamer. Like, to be honest, I was just a little kid playing with my brother and my family, and we were just having fun. I was just competing on Warcraft at first. I was doing some tournaments here and there, but my main priority was still school. I got into esports when it was not as big as it is now and I could see the difference, you know, at first we had to go to tournaments with our own computers, we had to travel and, you know, not everything was still uh, set up as it is now, so I could see the evolution and the improvements. One day uh, LCS started and I jumped into Fnatic and it became the beginning of my career. The first game I've played was with my brother. I have like some vague ideas about the game. I think it was on uh, Mega Drive. I was too. I actually have some memories, but not all of them. You know, I was um, playing with my older cousins and my brother, and I actually didn't want them to make me play because I was young and putting aside. I wanted to compete with them. I wanted to. Um, deserve my spot and actually be able to challenge them. <laughs> when it came down to tournaments, I had to deal with some issues because my parents always wanted me to actually study and um, stay on that path where I had to have good grades to be able to play. But at the same time, I knew that I could perform playing video games, but I I was really far away of believing that it would become the, f the next big thing. So I was still uh, being a good kid, going to school, having good grades. And so I could have a deal with my parents where I could actually manage to still have a lot of time to play. So they would allow me to do so. I remember it was like my main hobby. Um, whenever I was getting out from school, I was going to my house and before doing my homework or anything. I, I was just uh, playing a few hours and then at weekends I would sometimes go maybe eight hours away from my house by train or by car and then I would just take part in a tournament for one or two days and then I would come back at the end of the weekend and just go back to school like a regular kid. Before Fnatic I've had some teams where I've played like for example in Warcraft 3, I have different team, and then season 1, season 2, I was playing against the former Fnatic members. I already knew that brand, and I knew that they had good players and a very good reputation in eSport. It was a dream for me to actually play with them and put that jersey, and I still remember that before season 3 started, Reckless was not old enough to take part in the competition, so they needed someone to replace him. I got the trial where they decided to take me on board. I had to step up because I actually took a break at that time uh, from competitive. I was more focusing on studying and then one day they asked me like, would you be interested in, in playing for the team, for the organization? And I was like, oh, I'm not as confident as I was a few months before but I could give it a try. And I'm glad that I actually took that opportunity because I would be nowhere of where I am today. In the early days, I have so many good memories, you know, it's the adventure as a whole. I was personally playing at my house alone and I had some fears of the competitions because I had to move uh, here and there and League of Legends allowed me to move abroad and play in a different environment and then I realized that my life would completely change because I, I would have to move to Germany, live with a bunch of guys that I didn't even know that well. I actually got matched with good guys. I always think that I got lucky with that, never had any issues, it was like really fun times. Bar, you suck. It was like... Me? Yeah, yeah, I know. We were performing, so this 
made the adventure very easy. When you win so many titles, when you make really good relationship, when you're having fun, then you're just happy. And I was genuinely happy doing that. Fnatic have lost their minds. They are jumping, they are screaming. About the, the plays that I remember, um, I would say in season one, when I was playing against Fnatic during the finals, uh, when I was shooting the arrow with Ash from like really far away and I was like, oh, he's gonna hit it. I I'm pretty sure, you know, I, I was already announcing it. Fnatic, it looks like they are going to lose it. Another <laughs> one to shoot, she goes down and coming across was the Ash arrow, a beautiful job. She was all the way down in middle. I remember also the when I had to do the transition from AD carry to support, I was actually really lost, you know. I. I didn't have any experience and then I had to jump into the LCS and I had only a few months to actually perform and my teammates put a lot of trust on me and I had to work really really hard and I personally managed to show up at Worlds where I think in 2013 um, we were actually playing really well together and you know all this hard work was fin uh, finally paying off and i was really happy and then when i think about other memories it's about the whole 2015 year you know season five where we had to build up a new team from scratch and considering the circumstances before where i actually wanted to stop playing and everyone was leaving the team was falling apart i was like should i keep playing and i was like yeah this is my chance you know and i have so many good moments that i can remember in game and outside of the game and it's just part of the journey fanatic are the champions that man on your screen yellow star is the only four time winner the reason why I stick with Fnatic for so long is that they gave me the opportunity to actually start my pro gamer career and I have to recognize, you know, looking back, that only hundreds of players actually have that opportunity among millions of players. We've always got treated really well. Uh, we were having a lot of fans within the members and, you know, so I didn't have the need or the feel that I had to go somewhere else. But, you know, one day um, I just realized that maybe I was looking for something else uh, to discover like new environment, get to work with new people and just see how it is uh, somewhere else. But uh, it was a really, really good experience uh, playing and working with them. I really enjoyed my time. When I started to play competitively, um, the biggest achievement that I wanted to accomplish was probably be world champion when it comes down to League of Legends. We only reached semifinals twice, uh, but when, when I look back, I think it's a really complete achievement. Oh, I actually once uh, reached the final season one, but I wouldn't consider it uh, as it would be uh, nowadays, you know, season two, season three, where more and more people started playing. It was still uh, a small thing at that time. But then, you know, when LCS started, we actually managed to win like five out of eight times. So I think that's quite good, you know, like being part of five uh, championships, world championship is actually nice too. But you know, being at the top of Europe for so many times and when you go to international competitions, you can actually play against the best players in the world and you see that you can actually compete against them makes makes me feel um, really rewarded. And Fnatic will become the first team in LCS history to do it! The perfect split, 18-0! holding the record of being undefeated during the regular season. Um, you know, like so many people were praising like, oh, you guys managed to 80 series. But in our mind, it was, oh, the season is already over. And for us, we were telling ourselves that we've 
lost games, you know, it's not really deserved because so many games were struggling and we were almost losing. We had only our Nexus turrets or something and then we were still coming back and we were like, whew, okay guys, we didn't lose. But then when we actually accomplished like the 18-0, we didn't really re realize that it was something phenomenal, you know? We were just like, oh, okay, uh, we, we managed to do it, that, that's great, you know? But now, a year later, I'm like, hmm, actually, still no one has been undefeated during the whole regular split. You know, holding a record is always nice, so you can always remind your name and the team that who, who's, who has done that, you know? <laughs>
given me over the years are the support that they've offered me uh, when we were performing, when we were having hard times. They're always cheering for you and it's just the best feeling that you can have. Um, the, the moral support is just nothing near to what, what they, they could give you, you know. And this is what I'm really grateful for. Um, they've helped me when they criticize you, when they praise you. You just deserve what you've done, you know. So I'm, I'm really grateful that they've helped me throughout my career. I don't even know if, if there are any words to say enough about how thankful I am to Fnatic, to my parents, to my family, to my friends, to the fans. So everyone that I've got to meet, to work with, the ones that I've got to talk to, you know, everyone that is involved in my life. Uh, I'm so, uh, I don't know, I'm just so grateful because everyone has been helping me and you know i've always wanted to improve day by day they're always been here for me and it's something that i i i cannot like yeah uh, i don't have the words for it